Oh, Sammy Hagar and the boys, Why Can't This Be Love? A song that was originally called Why Can't This Be Fuck? Wow. Little aggro. Little aggro. Little aggro. Prob- it's come probably right not out of the gate. Probably airplay. Right out of the gate. Right out of the gate. You're the new singer of Van Halen. And you're like, well, what, what if the song's called Why Can't This Be Fuck? And they're like, no, you can't do something that stupid. I mean, you're really, you're drawing a line in the sand, I gotta say. You gotta draw a line in the sand with Sammy Hagar. Because that's the only place you can talk to him. He's always out on the beach in Cabo. And he's like, I'm not gonna talk to you. I'm on the beach in Cabo. And you draw that line and he'll come right on over. He's a very good friend. He's a very good friend of me, Wisp Turlington. 609 on the Wisp Turlington Show on 108.9 The Hawk. We're very good friends, me and Sammy Hagar. And I will say, uh, Sammy, you know, because I originally went in on uh, his tequila with him. Oh, and uh, the first one, it was called uh, Sammy's Tequila. Uh, dumb yeah, not name, as terrible name. Dumb, terrible name. Dumb, Who wants to drink a tequila name? name? I said, dumb, stupid, and that's what terrible I said. name. I was going to bring it up. Uh-huh. I was going to bring it up. And I, and I said, I need to have a meeting with you. And he said, well, you know where I am. Right. I'm on the goddamn beach. On the goddamn beach. That's where he always is. And I'm like, oh, okay, well, I guess I'm going to have to go down to Cabo and draw a line in the sand and say, I'm out. I'm not doing this tequila with you anymore, Sammy. I mean, that's a real plus minus situation, though. Truly I mean, a plus you're, you're minus the line situation. Saying you're getting out of a possibly uh, or lucrative deal in tequila, but also yeah. trip to Cabo. A really great trip to Cabo. Oh, my Not God. A we had a really trip good to time. Cabo. I, went, I went to Cabo Wabo. You go to the uh, Wabatini. You the Wabatini, listen to them Wabatini. The Wabaritas were there. They were playing. The Wabaritas. The oh. Wabi Hattons, which is like the, the that's for your grandfather. Uh, that's a Manhattan. But made oh, with the Wabi Hat! Wabo. No, that's the, the Wabi Hat. Yeah, yeah, the old, the old, uh, the old Wabo, which well, is the old, old fashioned. fashioned. Oh, it's yes, the Wabo. Wabo. Oh, the Wabo. Yeah, that one they didn't think. They that's when a like, little far with their drink titles. That's down like there, when a ska they? band doesn't even bother with a pun. They just show. No, they're just like anywhere. this is what it is. This you is what it is. It. You deal, deal with what it is. Fucking ska bands, and you do deal with it because you love ska. You who doesn't love ska? Oh, my God. Everybody loving Ska on 108.9 The Hawk in the morning. 6.09. My God, we are here. The Wisp Turlington Show. Wisp and Jeff in the morning again uh, in the rock and roll RV uh, that used to be Jeff's home. I think you do still live here. I'm not entirely sure about that. I can smell that you might. That is definitely my smell. Uh, You are sleeping on what uh, Scotty affectionately calls the dog bed, which is where I sleep. And that's where Big Truck, our uh, other DJ on the station, uh, he likes to keep his dogs right over there. And I keep telling him, that's my goddamn bed, Big Truck. I mean, it might look like just a futon mattress I threw on the ground without the futon, but it is my bed. (laughs) It is your goddamn bed. Oh, we're having a great time here on uh, 108.9 The Hawk. I do have to say this. The Rock and Roll RV, the place we're in, where we broadcast from, because a version of me destroyed the building that we used to broadcast out of that is being slowly rebuilt. Literally no action going on in that. Last I heard, the contractor said, I've got your windows. Oh, I, I got your windows. Show us a window. But he says okay. it's in the warehouse, and then they ain't, they haven't been here in three weeks. I'm looking I, I out look- the window, and it's literally, you know that episode of The Sopranos? Where, oh, I know uh, exactly what they're all just sitting around in uh, lawn chairs. I think it's ah. called a no-show job. All right. I Classic. think I'm looking at a no-show job. This, this is a no-show job. Are we getting sopranoed by this we're contract? we're getting sopranoed. Oh, also, right. no-show job, my favorite Ario Speedwagon record. Oh, it's fantastic. So good. No hits on it. Literally no. nothing. There is li- you do not know that any song on that Ario you Speedwagon. Have no, you have you no idea. You think there's something from no-show job, and then it's like, no, no, yep. if you only gave a fish yep. a tuna. I'm going to throw some tracks out. Uh, I'm a Dad Again is on uh-huh. that album by Ario Speedwagon. Yep. Terrible song. Yep. What's your favorite uh, the, track on that? Stew time. Oh, yeah. They tried to do that. They had a uh, bottled. It was like a can jar. Yeah. That said stew time on it. But all the yeah. members of Ario Speedwagon on the front. And they tried to sell that back in 89. When I, when I see Ario, I think stew. I think but, stew. Uh, they tried stew. to sell that. Killed 42 people in Iowa. Rest in power. But they didn't kill anyone in Val Verde, and that's why we're still here, and that's why the Rock and Roll RV is sponsored by a brand new business, brand new business, Jeff, called the Val Verde Candle Factory. And their tag is, we're just like Yankee Candle, except for the fact that we're still trying to get our smells right. And here's some of the great candles they've got right now, Jeff. You're going to want these for this RV to maybe uh, get the smells right in here. Uh Um... 
They've got Ranch Autumn. Okay. They, they've got Home Sweet Ass. I got enough. I got enough ass in here. I'll tell you that right now. Dump Apple. Okay, I like a little. They've got one called We Found Grandmother. And I oh. imagine that's a situation where it's like, hey, has you, have you heard from grandmother? I smell her. In a while. Because you say that. You say, have you heard from grandmother in a while? I'm always saying. And you're like, oh, you it's don't. been two weeks. We should go check. And that's what this candle smells that's like. That's what it is. What are the other? You have you have the, the sheet in front of you. What else? What are your favorites uh, on this sheet? I mean, of course, Taco Bell frying oil. Oh, you know, don't that get me one, started. And that one covers up all of your pleasant smells, which is yes, an interesting one. Of course, mm. Uh, you got it for the holidays, alcoholic the holidays, Christmas memories, one. alcoholic yep. Christmas memories. Alcoholic. Who doesn't have a good alcoholic Christmas memory? I've got a lot of them. I don't know if it's they're literally good, all I have. That. Jeff That's Lynn, awful. my best friend in the world from oh Hello, comes over to Turlington Manor, just pops back some cognac, and Christmas is it. over. And I do have to say, Done. by the way, speaking of ELO, I'm actually speaking of REO, REO Speedwagon's Stu Cornucopia. Oh, my God. They're doing a candle. They won't give up on this stew. You so guys I guess should actually, really give up on the stew. Watch out for that one, Valverde, because you Jesus might die. Christ, Jesus Christ, REO Speedwagon. My I God. Uh, well, speaking of uh, Turlington Manor, our good friend Jason Gore is still there. Uh-huh. Um, he told me yesterday that he may not want to do radio for a little bit. Um, after re- revealing a little too much during uh, that episode where he talked about uh, Petroleum Joe's oh. and losing his uh, his high school girlfriend. That's the problem. Sometimes when you... a corn dog. I listened to that. I, I listened it to was it back a sad episode. It's very sad. The thing about the it is... The problem with wounds... Oh, oh tell me. No, no, you I have a point. No, you tell me. No, you tell me. Okay, no. You tell me 614 on 108.9 The Hawk. Now tell me. The thing about reopening wounds, you can't close them up again. Oh, you can't. All Doctors you can do is been put trying. salt in them. Doctors try nonstop Doctors to close wounds. have been trying wounds. to close wounds for so long. One day they'll figure it out. They'll figure it out. Also, oh my God, I got to tell you this. Uh, we are brought to you by Jug's Mug Emporium out in uh, Valverde East. You, you got it. If you're going to get some, some mugs... You want to get them at Jugs. And I'll tell you what they got uh, coming up very, very soon. They've got some brand new mugs out, Jeff, that I think are going to blow your fucking mind. I can't wait. That I can't wait for some new Jugs. Your fucking mind. Scotty, the delay is on, correct? Okay, our producer behind the glass, he just peeks out. The glass really doesn't work. You cut out a hole here in your uh, bathroom of the RV. <sighs> and uh, Scotty kind of has to peek around and let us know and shake his head. Yes or no? We did cut uh, one of those little openings downs. at the bottom that, like, if you're at the post office, uh-huh. and when, when the inevitably the microphone does not work right. at the post office, and he they try to speak up. through that little hole, and they're like, hey, the, hello, you need more postage. It's a lot like that, but this moves. Like, it's almost the mouth itself. Like, you're talking to it a mouth. It starts talking. I like, hate the Muppets. You heard it here first on 108.9 The Hawk. You heard it on 108 point. The time is Hot moving takes. fast. Hot takes. God damn, time is moving fast. Time is, is it the is really of every other day. It's literally the opposite of everything that happens here on 108.9 The Hawk. But I do have to plug, we mentioned, you know, going back and listening to episodes of 108.9 The Hawk because Boss Ron still has us doing that goddamn podcast oh my where God, he takes God. clips from our morning show right here in Valverde. Wake the fuck up, Valverde. You are are late for your slob job. You're late. You get late. Your boss is like, where the fuck is he? Yeah. But while you're going to your slob job, you can listen to the podcast. And I don't understand it. I don't get them. I uh, don't know how have, it works. I have no idea why you wouldn't listen to terrestrial radio all day long. Why wouldn't you be listening to terrestrial radio all you're day not long? We're not ads? even saying satellite. Fox no, no. satellite radio. Terrestrial. This is cables. Radio. We are using cables. Never going to die. Never, ever going to die. Classic rock's going to live forever. Uh, but podcasts, I got to tell you, they're popular. Those smartless boys pulled in like, what, $80 million just to I bullshit? Together, just, to, just bullshit, bullshit. They got bullshit eighty million to be friends. I mean, that's got speed to that. They got eighty million dollars just to be fucking friends. You've got friends. Zoom. Where's like, your hey, what 80 happened million? with you today? Well, I, uh, I had a, I went to Orange Julius, and I'm like, oh well, I'm allergic to that. Ha ha. Guest done eighty million dollars. Doesn't sound like the scintillating conversation of terrestrial radio. But we have uh, someone here in our studio right now. We're going to bring him in right now. Ladies and gentlemen, comic extraordinaire, German comic extraordinaire. And I love Germany. I love it. I love it so much. Ladies and gentlemen, Flula Borg. Welcome to the West Turlington Show, Flula. 
Hello, Wisp Turlington. How, how is everyone today? We are very, very good. Wonderful we're, now that you're here. We're good now that you're here. Well, let me tell you, I'm a little inebriated from drinking many bottles of Sammy's tequila. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, you yeah. shouldn't have had those. Those are completely <laughs> way past the, the, the safe date. We left those in we the green room. room but, the the oh. safe oh. date. I talked so, to Sammy on the beach. I'm like, we got to extend the safe dates. And he's like, no, it turns into something else. Oh, no. Looks like I need to light a, a candle of We Found Grandmother very quickly to... Oh, to there you go. The sponsors <laughs> love that, Flu. Like, you are playing right into the sponsors' hands. It's right a ridiculous there. show just, that, right? That's oh, fantastic. Oh going to get at least 20. I'm going to get a quarter for that. That is going to oh, be God, very, very good. Thank you for oh, looking oh, out. God. Would love to support you, yes. Oh, I, I appreciate that. I appreciate yes. that. Flu, you have a new podcast coming out. But before we talk, of, what is a podcast? Can you explain it to us, Terrestrial Radio? guys yeah it is audio that is then listened to a bowl with your ears and that is what i think it i've heard that is the rumor that someone told me about 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 it oh interesting interesting yeah. so, so it's it, audio that my ears hears oh yeah. your ears pick this up oh. yeah you can if you i've heard if you play it near other items such as uh, eyes or genitalia anus etc you cannot hear it so good so i recommend when you are playing it that you put it near to uh, some the place of the ears eyes genitalia etc is my favorite motley crew record oh that is we a don't wonderful talk about it enough yeah, it is a very very talk good about record it nobody mentions it it's almost as famous as the oreo speed wagon um, <laughs> album uh, i'm a dad again i gotta I tell know. you i gotta tell you we get a lot of guests in here flula we and get they're a lot sitting, of guests. they're sitting in the green room and they're not absorbing fucking any of this no. they come in here they're like literally what the fuck do you do you have absorbed everything and i'm telling you i love it and this is the way guests scotty this is the way guests are gonna go from now on, goddammit. it. They're all gonna pay attention to what They're we're all gonna pay attention <laughs> now. Maybe it's because we're all crammed into this RV together. Maybe that's well, part of it. As I was sitting in the small toilet area of, of the rock and roll RV and sipping on my jug mug of semi tequila, oh I was just saying we what an it's so enjoyable, your 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 radio show. Thank you. Shout out Hawk. Oh, that's oh, a hot. Don't do that. The Hawks will attack. They will oh, the attack. Hawks the mutant will Hawks will attack. Oh, they are out there. Here comes that's... Dominic Wilkins. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> they yes. will attack. Yes, now, so, okay, folks. so it's something you hear with your ears, and that's what you're putting out into the world with a brand new podcast. It's called Flula Makes Five. Flula, tell me a little bit about this. Well, it is a bit of, as you say, a snoofow, which was, uh, we we directed a, a, a sitcom, a sitcom, and it was very nice. But right. to save, yeah, to save some euros, I hired my cousin Heinz uh, to film it. But Heinz does not know how to, he was not a director of photography before this moment. Oh. And so he did, yes, we found after we recorded the whole season of eight episodes, plus a surprise uh, Christmas episode, that he surprise. did not surprise ha 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 you know ha, 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 you didn't see it coming so. Christmas episode in your face <laughs> kiss me on the toe missile um, <laughs> and so he, uh, he forgot to remove the lens cap uh, we found out later so oh. Oh. Hines, Simple mistake on. it happens you, though you want to trust relations you want to trust family oh, you want family to do it in, in any sort of project, and I've learned this the hard way, family's going to oh, fuck you. Family seen, will fuck you. Every time intercourse, with, like a shout out, Sopranos reference. Oh, there yes. you go. There you go. Oh, family fantastic. will fuck you. Because you mentioned them before. That's yes. exactly. I got Scotty, this guy. Yeah. He, I can't Picks believe up it. everything you yeah. threw yeah. down, Jesus. and it's fantastic. Yeah. What yeah. song did we start the whole show with? Oh, it was a very wonderful song by Sammy and also his other friends uh, from the Vans and ha Halen. And then, from the Vans and, and Halen. You are recording from the rock and roll RV because, RV? Wisp, Wisp, you destroyed the building. Uh, well, and it wasn't me. It was not me. That's not you. That's we think part. it was someone from the uh, multi bullshit verse. Oh, the MBS V, and then yeah, also yeah. See, I, I, oh, it's Jesus. I, but I really did love that song called "Why Can't This Be Fuck." Why can't this be I fucked? Mean, See, if Sammy were here, I got to call Sammy. I got to put him on call FaceTime. Call Samuel. So, uh, yeah, so gotta get Samuel. I mean, that. Flula gets it that it's like that first thought is the thought you should go with. Oh, always go Sammy's with first Always first go with your thought. You got to follow your oh. instincts. There's no, no rewriting. No. There's no, no rewriting. Uh, no, not in baseball. No. <laughs> no, no. Oh, my favorite line. Quote. My favorite Tom yes. Hanks quote. Oh, There's Thomas. no rewriting in baseball. <laughs> baseball and then Madonna yeah. cries. 
It's Where's so Private good. Ryan? Yeah, yes, exactly. <laughs> that is, he did the line yes. in Private Ryan too, which did, really yeah. shocked me. I'm like, why would you do that? And he, yes. in, especially at the grave, that grave oh, scene, so he's just the there screaming, gut wrenching, okay. and he just it's gets like, old and then vanishes. Oh, I mean, that's um, what, I mean, Schwarzenegger. He, he got it, he took a cue from him. He, he said, oh, he did "I'll job. be back." Shove it in every movie. And he's like, it's you know like, what? I'm a copy with it. Yes, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. I, it. I love it. I love it. Flula yeah. makes five. Now it's going to be eight episodes. Yes, plus Come, a surprise co- episode. Yes, and it comes out September 19th is when it's out. Yes, and yes you can September- get it wherever you get podcasts. Everyone in Valverde, Valverde should subscribe. And it is now a podcast yes. because we re- did not remove the lens cap. So now we've turned a lemonade into a f- smile. And so that's now it's a podcast. Yes. You know, the thing oh, I've heard is they, they say now with technology, anyone could yeah. be a filmmaker. You just need a camera or right. a camera without a lens cap on it. But if or a you, camera, you, has, it, has or anyone a brought camera, up a camera? Maybe yet? a camera. But if you leave that lens cap on, you have a whole new opportunity. And that's the way you look at it. It's positive. Totally. It's like if you are just hiring a courtroom sketch artist and then that is who, uh, you know what I mean? interesting idea. I would love to see Flula in a sitcom that is only images of courtroom sketch artists. It's called Courtroom courtroom Flula. Oh, yeah. And it's you and you're you're basically doing what they did on on that show on, on Freebie. The, oh, the jury, jury duty show. Oh, duties of jury. Jury the duties of, of jury. Yes, Lula's that was the original title. Of jury. Yeah, and, and then and then the tagline is objection overruled. Yes. Overruled, <laughs> you motherfuckers! I yeah, say exactly. that every time I'm in court. They hate it. I just oh. like to go and sit in the court and, and then and you, just pop up and just yeah, pop up. And, Pop up and uh, then you hold your boombox and you play Stew Time by Oreo Speedwagon. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I cannot believe this. It's like a say this. anything moment, I but in a this. courtroom. It's fantastic. Oh. Yes, yes, yes. Every, every trial has a say anything moment. Always. That's just and the so, American legal system for you. That is the American <laughs> just, legal system. Yeah. Blum, blum. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah. Law and order, say anything. One of my say favorite anything. spinoffs. Oh, that's oh. when when Cameron Crowe took over Law and Order. I was oh. like, how is he going to pull a Dick Wolf? And I think he, I think he, he went it. even farther. Oh, I think he went past, even further. Oh, and wolf I think dick is in the past. I think, yes. You oh, get that dick. Wolf Dick out of here. Get oh, wolf dick you out. Are. Tell Wolf Dick he can't come on Sorry. anymore. Sorry, Wolf Dick, aka Ben Johnson. Here comes Carl <laughs> Lewis, aka Crow Cam. Ah! Uh, yeah. Oh my God, Flula. We're having such a good time. We're going to talk more about your podcast here in just one second. Okay. Uh, but before we pay some bills, we do have to go to Hawk Traffic. What do we point nine the Hawk Traffic with Art Spart? Wow! This is Art Spart with 108.9 the Hawk Traffic. And there is an accident on the corner of Hog Street and Lane Stanley Lane. And that's traffic from Burt's Funeral Flowers Traffic Desk. I'm Art Spart. 108.9, the Hawk. Oh, um, okay. That's it. That's all that's we got. all you're doing today. You're just a little Wrap shorter than usual, Play Art. the jingle. I, I think usually you do more. You're allotted for more time. My like four God, hours Jeff. to kill. What do you want from me? Do I have to do this little dance every time I do the traffic? Do I really need to make a mountain out of a molehill with every GD traffic report? Why must I weave you a tail every time I have to tell you there is an accident? Isn't that all the information you need, Jeff? You really need to know it's because of the convention of Frankenstein lovers? We're marching down Hog Street, and then the convention of Frankenstein's monster lovers was marching down Lane Staley Lane, and they slammed into each other and immediately started fighting because the Frankenstein monster fans wanted to emphasize that that is the actual name of the monster. And the Frankenstein fans said they were tired of semantics. Does that change? That there is traffic one way or the other, Jeff? The angry man, Garlock. Look! Sometimes old Art just wants to do his job. Say his info and get the fuck out of here. I'm sorry, Jeff. I didn't mean to snap at you. It's been a really long week. The annual meetup of Trafficologists of America just happened to fall on the same week as the meetup of the Cryptozoologists of America. And guess who was the key speaker at both? Well, you don't have to guess. It was me. And look, I love my life. But all the chit-chat, all the small talk, all the glad-handing, 
All the, oh, thank you. Yes, I'm so glad you came. Oh, I'm so glad you enjoyed my speech. No, I don't want to go get a drink with you at the hotel bar. I can't do it, Jeff. Tired of talking, which is a real downer for someone whose job it is to talk. You all know that better than anyone else. Old Art is fried. Fried! So many Punishers coming up to the Old Art Spart merch table. So for now, can I just read the facts and, and, and just give Old Art's brain a rest on the story weaving and opinion having train? Can I do that, Jeff? Yes. Wh- uh, whatever, whatever you need, Art. Jesus. Great. Oh, and by the way, it's definitely Frankenstein's monster, not just Frankenstein. Ah, oh, damn it! Art can't help himself from giving his two cents. Anyway, damn it, don't go down to Hawk Street. That is, uh, that's really the traffic on 108.9 The Hawk. From the Burt's Funeral Flowers Traffic Desk, I'm Art Spart. With Burt's Funeral Flowers, with Burt's Funeral Flowers. Oh my god, Art is really getting wow. into it there. That's, that's, that's something pissy. Uh, Sorry you uh, had to see that, Flula. He's usually really, much really nicer. Really, pissy there. Oh. He seems deeply unhappy. He seems I, like a he... Well, you nailed it right there. Yeah, I mean, really... Yeah, I mean, <laughs> Art, what do you think? Did he nail Flula it? Flula therapist <laughs> is what we need here, I think. <laughs> oh, my God. Well, <laughs> we, we can't stop talking about this, and maybe this is the only thing that can play right now. Because Flula had some of Sammy's tequila, he shouldn't have had. But right now, it's Love Walks In. Van Halen on 108.9. The Hawk. When I ate at Shawnee's, I had a fever. I think I got it from the fish bar. I probably ate way too much fish or the salad by the dessert bar. I don't know who I am I have become uncomfortably full And you can feel uncomfortably full at Sharnies with our brand new Don't Stop Till You Pop promotion. Eat as much as you want from Sharnies over 74 active buffets. And if you pop while on premises at Sharnies, you're going to be eating for free. It's our Don't Stop Till You Pop promotion. With new buffets such as the Cheeseburger Slider Pit, a buffet filled with 4,700 different types of chicken wings, the Corn Dog Flume, the Gravy Zone, and the world's biggest chocolate waterfall you've ever seen. Hope you brought your swimsuit. The Don't Stop Till You Pop promotion. You pop while in Charney's? The check's on us. No one eats for free at Charney's unless you explode in front of us. Don't stop till you pop. Only at Charney's. Charney's does not officially condone the Don't Stop Till You Pop promotion. And participating in said promotion and exploding while in Charney's is based solely on the decision of the participant. Charney's will not cover any medical or rehabilitation expenses. No one eats for free at Charney's. No one eats for free at Charney's. She was a rookie lab technician helping out a scientist who was trying to control the weather. And the only experiment she wasn't prepared for was of the erotic variety. Because when the rain is hot... It's hot rain. Shannon Tweed, Taylor Negron, and Chaz Palminteri. From the erotic mind of writer Joe Esterhaus, and from the erotic mind of director Zalman King, sex in the rain is fine until it's hot rain. On Channel 8 After Midnight, you know, when your parents have fallen asleep. Channel 8, your home for great shit. From A, ACDC. To A, even more ACDC. To A, even more ACDC. When you want letters that correspond with rock and roll, you get them right here at 108.9 The Hawk. I tell you, if there's one thing I think as I get older is I am 
reeling in the years here on 108.9 the oh, oh, oh. oh did that perfect. just come to you did it, it just, just came up? to me out of nowhere just in out my brain of nowhere i don't oh. feel like i'm reeling in the years i feel fine but don't you, you feel fine oh, you feel it okay. made sense it made sense. It made sense to me. Uh, sense we're to here me. Uh, in the Rock and Roll RV on 108.9 The Hawk. Wisp and Jeff in the morning on the Wisp Turlington Show. Here with our guest, and maybe our best friend now. Honestly, what? I My haven't baby. had a guest on the Wisp Turlington Show like this, at least since the last time Peter Cetera from Chicago was here. Uh, oh. What was that? Two months ago, Jeff. Two months ago. Two months wow. ago. So, Flula, you're really, you're really bringing the heat. Thank you, Wisp, and thank you also, Jeff. And a shout out to Oddspot. I, of Art, course. did you hear that? Art, Art, yeah. do you hear yes. that? See, he, he's oh. crying. I can hear him crying outside. Oh. You can hear him crying? Wow. Oh. I was going to ask him. Oh. Oh, no. Wait, do you want to ask Art a question? I can get his I, ass I in here. Have a question. Please. Please. Art, get your ass in here. Oh, okay. And Art, open your ears here because Flula right. is here to help. Art Spart Please. here. Flula on board. Hello, it's Art Spart. How are you? Hello, Art. Uh, a very quick question. Were you reporting from the Valverde news chopper or how did you report of the traffics? Well, I was doing it from the uh, backside of the RV. Oh, got it. It's and I've got yeah. webcams. I have oh. these web. You know what, Flula? What? No one has ever asked what the process is. No one trust. ever, nobody ever cares what the process is of telling people what the traffic is in Valverde and to talk about it. I feel like it's almost like an out of body experience. Oh, wow. That is very <laughs> amazing. <laughs> 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 so, um, yeah, so I'm in the back of the RV. I've got webcams. I've got traffic cams. I'm looking at uh, 422 right now here on oh. the traffic can. I'm looking over at the Verde Dome, the Valverde and Normo Dome. And. Oh. And Valmart Amphitheater all look clear right oh, now. Uh, wow. Thank you very much, Ort. This will be helpful for my home at commute. Um, also, a question for you, Ort. Um, Please. You s yes. Nobody you ever asks questions. Uh, Jeff? Well, Ort, you had mentioned that you are a cryptozoologist. I am. Um, I'm a monster uh, hunter. I just wanted to know what is perhaps your favorite animal from the folkloric record? Oh, God. <laughs> Nobody ever asked this question. Uh, you are oh, deep my favorite, for... my favorite. Yeah. Um, okay. You know, it, you know what? Yeah. I, I'm going to say I've had some differences yeah. with the Minotaur. I have oh. had some differences with the Minotaur, but the Minotaur that lives in Valverde over yes. by the Woodstock 99 simulation back there towards the Outer Lands. He's very nice. His name is Greg, and he's, uh, he's he's actually a very nice Minotaur, and I have I will not kill him. Is he employed? He is gainfully employed at Valmart. Oh. Valmart. Oh. He's the guy that does yeah. the restocking. So when you're trying to go down the aisle, and you're like, God damn it, make some room. It's Greg yeah. the Minotaur, Greg. and he is putting up uh, cans of beans and yes. uh, other uh, wares. Because here's the thing: Valmart's open 24 hours a day. And oh. they don't have time to fucking close to oh. restock. So they're going to restock all day long. And there's going to be people in there constantly. Yeah. And if you hear a clickety clockety, that's Greg re <laughs> re restocking, <laughs> right? Exactly. Well, for a second yeah. there, I was like, is Greg yeah. in the rock and roll RV? <laughs> if it ain't his hooves, it's those stacks yeah. of beans he's trying to uh, reface. I got to yeah. tell you, Flula, this yes. asshole right here and the hey, other hey, asshole hey, over hey, there. Hey, hey. Okay, yeah. all right. Those two assholes really made me feel terrible today. But Flula, you made me yeah. feel good. Oh, you are, well, I'm so happy to hear it. Or if you would like at some point to perhaps make a spending of time with you and I and Greg, I would be available. We will, we will do that. Wow. I will take you to Valmart and yes. show you where Greg. I think at that time, once we get out of the studio, Greg will be restocking adult diapers. Oh, so that's, that's always something wonderful. to see. <laughs> well, let's, let's stock up on some stew in preparation. Yeah. Oh, I'm not eating it. I will not eat that. You're but gonna I'm going need back that to because the they are serving okay, stew at the food there, court. Back there, don't you worry. Yes. Oh, really Bye, wow. Art. Wow. Goodbye, Art. I have never seen Art that touched, Flula. That is beautiful. Uh, thank really you very much. Really kind to see because I, we we honestly now I feel like I treat Art like a monster that he hunts. Also, wow. and that yeah, brings me the fuck down. I shouldn't yeah, I do agree. that. No, treat him like a nice... I feel like I, I'm learning about being a human being today oh, a little bit. My God. I'm starting to feel some days like, you know, honestly, I'm not going to lie. Every once in a while I wake up and I think, I might not be a human being. I might be a monster. Really? And I hope Art doesn't hunt me what down. What do you think you would be then, Jeff? Oh, definitely a chubacabra. 
Oh, oh, you think you're a Chewbacca? Chewbacca, sorry, what is it? Are you oh, a, Chewbacca? a Chewbacca? Actually, you know, I thought a Chewbacca, but I might be a Chewbacca. Oh, oh my God, I hope Art doesn't. Oh, I always man. feel bad for Chewbacca. Oh, why is this? Well, because, you know, he would do his Chewbacca sounds all the. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And only Han really acted like he understood him, but the other guys, like Luke and Leia, look at him like he's an idiot. I, th- I think they're cool. just like, yeah, okay, Chewbacca. And he's just like, oh, good. They understood that I really have to take a deuce. And he's like, you know, okay, I'll go do it. But they're like, Chewbacca, where the fuck are you going? You got to man that gun. Wow. Do you think the hairs went all around up to his anus? Oh, yeah. That's interesting. That is an issue with wiping. Yes. Chewbacca's probably got to do some uh, waxing down there every once in a while. 1976, my hair was very long, had a long beard, and I had the Chewbacca thing going on in my ass oh, as well. Oh, so yeah. you get it. You get it straight from the Chewbacca it, asshole. I and I mean, also, you know what? Speaking of get it, can that? I just what say, not to get? put more on your docket, Flula. But Flula, do you, do you have room for more on your docket? More on your docket. <laughs> let, let me clear my dockets. Yeah. <laughs> clear the docket because I got another million okay. dollar idea okay, for you. Okay. Flula Monster Therapist. Flula oh Monster God. Therapist. I mean, I would love this. You could I, cut to the. You could cut right to the chase with everything. Chewbacca's, yeah. Loch Ness's. Art. Yeah. I mean, I'm seeing it right here. Everything's there. Flula. Minotaurs. A- yes, I'm. I would yes. love this. Um, we are unable to monetize. Flula makes five because uh, we are, and also what? we are. A sev- yeah, we are seven figurines in debt, and so I would love to uh, oh add some more um, uh, finance streams. <laughs> yeah. so, I mean, if you've heard it here right now, I'll say it, people. If you're listening, let's monetize Flula. Let's monetize. Can we please Flula. monetize. If you are Flula. listening right now. Can yes. we just fucking monetize Flula? God damn yeah. it. Can we monetize Flula? Yes. Birds, funeral flowers, uh, well, wedding, candle factory, and Jugs Mug Emporium. I'm open for business. I Come mean, on, please, right Jugs. there. I mean, it, it's right there in front of you, you yeah. goddamn sponsors. Can oh you my help God. They're out. My yeah. goodness. Speaking of Jugs Mug Emporium, I do have to do this spot right here and oh, talk okay. a little bit about the latest mugs over there at Jugs Mug Emporium. My God, these are really good. Flula, you're going to love each one. Uh, oh. The first one yes. is my honor student convinced us to give them our retirement savings so they could learn the stock market and uh-oh we have nothing now oh that that's is a all big mug. On them. That's, that's a, a huge a small mug. font yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh I'm, I'm interested to see which way they're going with that design yeah. right yeah <laughs> okay the next mug they have on sale right now at jugs mug emporium i fish good i feel good i fuck well Oh, okay. and is this a fish with a pH, or is this about jambans? It, it's not the jamban. It's it's one hundred. It's oh. fly fishing. I know, but good question. <sighs> but good question, good question because the next one, I fish good, but with a pH, I feel good. Oh, I fuck well, and it has a picture of the drummer yep. of fish wearing a dress and playing a vacuum cleaner. But it says P H U C K. Yes, well, that, it is. That fun. mug doesn't <laughs> suck. <laughs> exactly. Uh, yeah. Two of those mugs, please. Yeah. Two yeah. of those. Yeah. Um, the next one is my pet peeve is you, mom. Oh, that sucks. That's really? yeah, that cuts uh, right. That's some the family door. therapy right there. Oh, ouch. Next one we got Ranger Danger. Now I have heard of Stranger Danger, but I think Ranger Danger is maybe you can't trust a ranger in a national forest. I oh. don't know what it is. is this I a, don't like it. A Chuck Norris awareness mug. It exactly. could be. Oh, yes. There. Maybe that's what it is. Be it's a Walker that. Texas Ranger I Danger. <laughs> Interesting. Well, they, they got to add that to the mug because it's confusing. I mean, I, I and by the way, up. by the way, uh, Jugs, if you add that in, you better give it to Flula because that no, one's you better it. give that it to Flula say. for free and uh, yes. you don't give yes and oh. all profits from it because again, we're going to try to monetize. We got three bigger. more mugs, three more mugs. Oh, Let's oh, get mugs. through them because we got to get paid. Uh, oh. Grandma's first birthday. Yes, sir. yeah, that's really sad. Happy birthday! Finally, Grandma gets Finally, a birthday. Finally, Grandma got one oh, done. Happy birthday! Sounds, sounds belated. It makes me I wonder mean, if it's a it little is, belated. Is yes. Maybe that same. could be. They could add that Grandma's first birthday parentheses sounds belated. That sounds could work. Scotty, I, I gotta ask, Scotty, is this the same grandmother from the candle? Oh yes, it is. It is. He can can't. He can confirm. It's the same grandmother. So she has died. She has oh, died. She fucking yes. died. You, and and as we know, you celebrate Grandma's birthday when she dies for the first yeah. time. Happy birthday. Oh, this do. is American culture. 
Oh, well, that's 100%. a Val Verde culture. Yeah, we know that. yeah, that's yeah, only yeah. a Val Verde. Yeah. 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 I'm not culture. gonna speak for the rest of America. No, I'm not. Just yeah. to yes. We've only been with okay. America for a little bit, Flula. It's, it's ah, we've been with Val Verde forever, though. Uh, yes. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, I understand. It, it's ketamine o'clock somewhere. Oh, it's really gotta be. Yeah. That is true. Yeah. That yeah. is yeah. very true. Half past heroin, you know. <laughs> exactly. Uh, oh, you better you get got drugs it. on the horn. Yeah, you yes. have. Yes. Somebody yes. understands yes. how to justify an addiction oh. through a coffee mug. I mean, oh. come on. Yeah. yeah, yeah. What about a mug that looks angry and it's a mean mug? Oh. Exactly. Oh, yeah, yeah. I love that. They better be that. goddamn listen. I'm saying they it again be because we got they some do because that's how they pay us. Final mug. Look at this. This one. I'm not gonna. The last one we have has a picture of Chewbacca on it. Oh. Certified Dingleberry Inspector. Can you oh, believe this? Because oh, he knows, he knows good. where he they are. It. They're located. It's, that makes sense. Oh. And so Thank head on over to Jug's Mug Emporium. Uh, we got to play the jingle. Here we go. Oh, it's a jingle. Jugs. Jugs. Get rich. Jugs. It's beautiful. Right? Jugs. 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 Mug Emporium. I sang this. This is him. He sang oh, this, Flula. We're now as the beast. That's Wisp's Wisp voice. Wisp, you sang this? I sang, I sang this. They, I got in the studio with my friends in Depeche Mode. And I, they were like, what do you want to do, Wisp? And I'm like, well... We've got not you. personal I mean, Jesus. We're not doing personal <laughs> Jesus, guys. <laughs> no. And no. PG. <laughs> but yeah, I will yeah. say that Martin Gore said, what if we do personal mugs? Wow. Oh. And I and said, that's the dumbest fucking thing I've ever heard. Good call. Perfect. Uh, a quick because question, first sorry, thoughts so are the important ones, by the way, but only for Martin Gore. You got to think it through twice. Flula has a goddamn idiot. question, sorry, Jeff. Flula, I to cut you no, off. No, I'm cut everyone out. So uh, a very quick question. Is it named Chuck as in the person is Chuck or this is a reference to a uh, slang of cleavages like. Uh, uh, like oh, uh, so like very and, good question. Uh, that is a very good question. It is not. It has nothing to do with uh, a woman's teeters. So, uh, it is okay. Jugs Mug Emporium. There but. Are four, well, the, it, it has 3G, so you know they're not fucking around, but also that could be 3G brass oh, eyes. Yes. I never, I've never thought it, about this. Scotty, this get could him be, on the horn. Maybe this is like the iPhone 4, like a 3G, like it's about the connectivity yes. of the Wi-Fi in Drugs yes. Mug Emporium. I don't trust 3G. I don't, if there's one I don't thing. trust 4G. Oh, 3G. Oh, no, no. 5G is totally to get, fine. 5G, 5G is totally actually fine. Is the it's not I'm doing anything, for. but 3G yeah. and 4G. Yes. You know, yes. who, you know who created 3G? Uh, 3GPO. No, 3GPO. Oh my God! <laughs> uh, let's, uh, let's uh, let me. Dear, of Chewbacca, yeah. dear that George very, Lucas. Very yeah. Guess what yeah. I just heard? 3GPO. Okay, time to redo the let's movies see if he texts once back again. In. Let's see if he texts yes, back. once more. We're gonna get, redo. Get them. back in there. Get back <laughs> in there, George. Time. That's what people are asking for. Is get back in there one more time, George. Yes. Yes. Oh my God. Add another well, space rhinoceros. Yes. Just we one gotta, more. Oh. Every time I watch the original Star Wars, I was like, there needs to be two more space right after was just dicking around in the background just and he only literally put the one dicking in. you know just why? literally dicking why, why? i watched phantom menace also uh -huh. gotta let you know 742 here on 108.9 moving fast Good thank God. you 742 on 108.9 the hawk you're listening to the wisp turlington show wisp and jeff and flula in the morning oh, hello, hello and, good morning uh, i watched i watched fucking i stayed oh. in line i was in line in 1999 for the Phantom Menace, I was in line for eight days oh. in a little rocking chair over by Valverde Cinema. Ah. And I go in there and I just see one space rhinoceros on screen. No. I got up and left. Yeah. I got up and fucking out. left. Yeah, I, uh, that's what you do. It's, it's a three, three rhino minimum, I believe. You there know, is a the, fucking three rhino three minimum. Three rhino minimum. MPAA has, just, has dictated this. That's why we are on strike, everyone. I mean, this is what it's been all about. And people have been yeah. wondering, too, say, why are we on strike? Three why are we on strike? And it's like, oh, it's the space, it's the space rhino thing, it's right? It's not all about the Benjamins. It's all about no. the rhinos. No. And I don't want to get off on a Jeff the Angry oh, Man here Garlock we go. right here. here we but go. Oh, no. Give me the boomer here. You want, oh. you want your soundy? You want your soundy? Give me that soundy okay. for a patented here Jeff the go. Angry Man Garlock rant. Oh. You know, here, I don't want to get off on a rant here, but I got to oh, get off on a Jeffy Anger Man Garlock rant. Bob Iger 
what is going on over there? Because I know what I'm on strike for. When I say I, I am not actually striking. Just the people that strike. But we are there for you. It's a three rhino minimum in every Star Wars movie and TV and series. And, and, and iOS game. Yes. And yes. anything iOS. that shows up. Yep. Yeah, if yeah. it just has Star Wars IP, get that three That's rhino. Right. And Dude, they better be space please. rhinos, goddammit. That's all I got to say. That just wanted to go out and rant. How Kinda many bit. rhinos, Flula, are there in Flula Makes 5? There are exactly three. Um, you Thank would God. see them, but Heinz forgot to remove the lens cap. They Son are in scene bitch. one, episode four. They're on the couch, and you can wow. hear them if you listen. They're nibbling on Farfaflugit, which is a, a delicacy from my hometown. What is, what uh, is uh, Farfag- Farfagnugit? Fafaflugit is the most delicious dish that you have ever entered into your holes. And if you ate it, oh. you would be like, oh, put this in my jugs, mug, emporium, mug. Oh, and oh, oh. I sure I, wish Valverde Candle Factory had a Fafaflugit scent in addition to ranch autumn. And by that, I mean ranch. Right, no, they also have ranch autumn. And it Which smells the just like They've ranch dressing. Yes. <laughs> but it's the kind that spilled. Yes. The kind yes. that spilled on the table and it just kind of got stronger. Yeah, it's in last autumn and it's harder and yep. stronger. And you're like, yep. I don't think this tastes right, but That's I'm going to eat it. I now, Flula, I'm going to play a little bit of uh, your person sent over oh. this. Oh. and We talk to your people. We talk to oh. your people. Uh, We're professionals. Flula, and I believe, is this the theme? We're going to play a little bit from your theme here. You tell us this is the theme I, for Flula Makes 5 right oh. here on the Whist okay. Carlington Show. Here it goes. Oh, I like it. Oh, that's good. These days life moves so very fast. Oh, that's good. The future okay. It turns into the distant past. Whoa. Oh. So this is a ballad. In our lives. This is a ballad. Might you have room in your hearts for five? Oh, wow. Can there possibly be room? Can there yeah. hopefully be room? Can there okay. possibly be room for one more? One ah. more. There's a space in your hearts for one more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. I love that. I love it. Is. It is. Who's the backing band on that? Oh, so spoiler alert, it's me, but also the space rhinos were in the, as you have, what is your man in the mirror? Uh, that they were in the back. They were uh, supporting. Michael Jackson. Oh, Michael Jackson. Yes, yes, the man the the Michael Jackson. He yes, is the man in the, the mirror. He is the man in the mirror. mirror. If you yeah, see yeah. a man in any mirror, it's Michael Jackson. And he's telling you to change your ways. He's I telling yes, me to, and I'm exactly. like, God damn it, I did it yesterday, MJ. Why, Why do, do we want keep changing? Me? Yes, I, you, and that's uh, the thing we got to learn from that is you got to keep yeah. changing your ways consistently inconsistent. Yes, <laughs> unless uh, it's three space rhinos, because you got to not change your ways. You got to put those goddamn right. space rhinos in there. If you don't change your ways, uh huh, you're gonna be knocking on heaven's door. If you know Whoa. what I mean, <laughs> yes. we know it's Dylan <laughs> on one hundred eight point nine. The Hawk. Uh-huh. We'll be back with more Wiz Turlington show right after this. You thought I was gonna play the GNR version, but fuck that. Okay. Get out of the crater, is what we say down here at Valverde's number one crater removal company. Hi, this is Danny from Danny and Sons Crater. We've got all of your crater removal needs. If you've got a kid stuck in a crater in your backyard, then we'll get that kid out of there. Now a reminder, our service is only for craters, not holes, not ditches, craters. And not to get stuck in semantics, but a crater is a large, bowl-shaped cavity in the ground caused by an explosion or the impact of a meteorite. That's it. And we don't get rid of the crater, we get the kid out of the crater. Now I understand this is where some confusion comes in because it doesn't actually have to be your kid that we get out of the crater. It can be any kid. I'm just using sons as just a general term here. As long as it's your crater, we'll get the kid out of the crater. But they also have to specifically be in the crater, not half out of the crater, not three quarters in the crater. They're all in the crater because, again, it's just me, Danny. I don't have any sons helping me out. The sons is in reference to the kids will pull out of the crater in your backyard, not a hole and not a ditch and not a canyon. Now, I know you may be asking, and I know this because you're always writing in letters and calling me at my place of business. How can you exist with this company if it's so specific? Well, let me tell you, we are currently the number one fastest growing franchise of crater-related businesses, according to Franchise Weekly Monthly Magazine. So get off our backs. And when I say our backs, I mean my back, because again, no sons, but I do have some cats. Danny and Sons Crater. Get out of the crater.
Hello there, it's Wisp Turlington here for Sauce King. And I tell you what, everybody, Sauce King has the best marinara you're going to get anywhere. Imagine you're a sword-wielding hero entering a village, a village in need of a hero. With two quick of your sword, you dispatch their villains and you reign supreme. How do the villagers thank you? With a pot of the best marinara sauce around. And that's exactly the taste you'll taste when you taste the marinara down at Sauce King. I've been using Sauce King for many, many years for my holiday Christmas list. So you know that if Wisp can trust them, so can you. Sauce King, 828 Hog Street, Valverde. Wispin' Jeff in the mornings. Has the old bastard gone mellow? I mean, like I said, I do appreciate hearing my name crystal clear in the beginning of the podcast. So I guess that might be my answer. Does that feel mellow to you? You also have not admonished me yet. That is a non-answer. That is a non-answer. I don't really... uh, We've done this long enough. I thought I could get some truth. Big Truck Afternoons. Then I say, uh, toot toot. And uh, first things first, they don't say toot toot back to me. They just uh, they just keep aiming that gun right at me, man. And I'm like, man, maybe you didn't hear me, man. I said toot toot. And then the bank robber put the gun down and uh, everything was saved. And man, he said he's going to listen to the big truck uh, afternoon show from jail. And that warms my little heart. Toot toot. And the greatest classic rock in all of Valverde. Valverde rocks with 108.9 The Hawk. Oh, oh, it's ZZ Top on 108.9. Oh, wow. Speaking oh. of dingleberries, yes. ZZ Top, oh. they, had, they definitely have some sort of dingleberry oh. issue going on, right? So they have beards on their buttocks also is what you're saying. That's exact. You get it. That yep. was their 1986 tour. It was beards on the beards buttocks. On the buttocks. And they would the show LGBs. everybody. After yes. the car would drive by, they'd be like, oh, we got something that, for you. We're going to bend yeah. over and show yeah. you these beards. On the buttocks, and then we're going to throw you the keys, but you have to catch the car. Yeah. If you don't catch the car, you're not going to be able to drive it. Got to catch it. Yeah, that's correct. And no one did, I read. No one did. No one did. No No one did. Harder than the hands on a hard body contest. Oh, my God. That's fantastic. Because literally, you can't stop staring. Like, they're showing you the beards on the bottom, and you're just like, I don't need the car. Beards on the bottom. Yeah. Get distracted. That's all I need. That's all I need out of ZZ Top is a dingleberry from the beard on their bottom. I went and saw it with George Lucas, one of my best friends in the world. And he's like, well, I should bring Chewbacca back. This inspired him. It did inspire him to bring yeah. Chewbacca back. Wow. And yeah, I got to. Yeah. That, 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 that was what it was going to be. The sequels were just going to be about Chewbacca. Oh, oh sure. all Chewie all the time. All oh, Chewie all, all the, time. the time. That was oh. it. And oh, then it became Chewie. the Phantom Man. You're like, okay, Phantom Man. We're going with this. So tell us more about Flula Makes Five. What do you, what do you, you know, you did eight episodes of this. Yes, but also a surprise ninth episode in the Christmas time. Yes. Oh, there we yeah, again. Yeah. Again, yeah, I got yeah. surprised again. Yes. <laughs> oh, we need to learn in America. And I'm just going to say in other oh, countries. Oh. oh, I guess this is a Jeff I didn't even Do mean to go in one, but give me a round. Okay. Give me a oh, round. Hold on. Let me, there got, we go. Hold on. I got to get it. I got to get go, it. Go, Jeff. Oh, go. Here we go. Go, <laughs> Jeff. Go. Yes. Look, I don't want to get off on a rant here, but here's a Jeff the Angry Man Garlock You rant. are. America, we need to learn from other countries. When their TV networks throw us a surprise Christmas episode, that's a tradition we need, where it's just like, oh, I guess this is a thing that you do. Let's make it a thing we do. Let's make it a thing. Let's make it a thing. You even, you you had more to go. You had more music, but make it a thing we do really hits to the heart. It hits the heart. Put it on a magnet. Put it on a magnet. Yes, I will place that on something magnetic. Oh, thank you so much for <laughs> You're so, it, so supportive. Put it on the ZZ Top car if I can ever fucking catch it. <laughs> catch you know it. Oh, good luck. Good, good luck, luck with us. Good luck to all good. of us. So yeah. nine episodes full of yes. love. Surprise Christmas well, episodes. Are, yes. are, are you going to do more after this? Or We, ho- we hope so. As the premise yes. of the show is a family of four buys a house, does not read the fine print that there is a techno DJ living in the basement signing oh, oh. on a 100-year lease. Yes, <laughs> so, 100-year lease? Yeah, Good deal. Yeah, yeah. I wish I, I could lock be, that in. Me as well, you know, a Bitcoin. <laughs> oh my goodness, a 100 year lease with Bitcoin. That'd be oh, fantastic. Yeah. That with Bitcoin. That's oh, the only way it's going to lock it down. It's the Correct. only way you're going to lock it down. Yes, Maybe yes, an yes, NFT yes. as a down payment. Maybe. Good luck. <laughs> Good luck, right? This man, yeah. this family moves in and they're yes. like, oh, God damn it. Yeah. Oh, oh, fuck. 
Yes, yeah. yes, yes. Oh, yes. shit. That's lots of we, swearing. We beep all of those oh, just a lot of swears. Of course, of course. And they're like, is there, are, you, are you fucking telling me yeah. there's a techno DJ here and he's got a hundred year goddamn lease? That's, the, that's got to be the first line, right? Yes. Wisp, you're very close, except uh, okay. there is no uh, Fs and GGs and Ss and it's just Oh, it's well, you know, it's Valverde, man. I know. Uh, just imagine like Alf and Mr. Belvedere had intercourse and made a German techno baby. And then this is oh, living in the fantastic. basement of a family. Yeah. Strangely, when, when someone says imagine something, uh -huh. I am imagining Alf and yeah. Mr. Belvedere. Yes, fucking yes. to uh, a track from. You don't even need to finish the day. sentence, but then when know. you finish the sentence, yeah. I'm like, all oh, right, I now I see Mr. I Belvedere see. and Elf, yes. and then see? also Tiesto. And yes. Steve Aoki have all merged into one yeah. one yeah. one cake throwing cat eating conglomerate. That's Listening to uh, the mighty mighty boss tones. A fantastic and Ben Carr, the boss tones just dancing next to him. And the whole time you're like, I can't believe this guy gets paid the same as everyone else in the boss tones. This is insane. This guy makes more than the drummer. Oh, yes. <laughs> this poor drummer of the Boss Toads. And you got a lot of people in this, Flula. Who, who else part of this podcast? I, the, your press release says that it is jam-packed. Yes, yes. And don't confuse this with marmalade, though I do recommend eating oh. nice PPJs <laughs> as, as you want. Listen. I am glad you said it I was confusing it because I can't think clearly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, there are some human people here in the show to include Ami Flula Borg and also oh. uh, Alaska Thunderfuck 5000 is also nice. in it. Yes. Nice. Uh, yeah. And also John Lear, who was uh, one of the cavemen from Geico, if you remember oh, the Geico. Oh, yes, of course. course. Uh, they yeah. did not get their due when that one season it came was. out on ABC. I was like, when's season two, ABC? Comedy's back it? on TV and it's called and Caveman. And then they're just like, nope, not anymore. Yeah, yep. Just tooted it and it, tooted and And that's booted. why we're striking. Tooted and booted, it, man. Exactly. That's the exactly. corporations for you. I tell. That's why we're on strike. <laughs> That's correct. Man I strike for that. And the three space rhino rule. Yep. And those space rhinos. Yeah. And the space rhinos. That's the reason. <laughs> there well. you go. You better yeah. get it together, studios. Who else do yeah. you have on this thing? Oh, also, Lauren Lapkus. If you know Lauren oh, Lapkus. Oh, I love Lauren Lapkus. Love She's so Lauren good. Lapkus. Fantastic. Yes. And so then good. We have Jean-Paul Jean Gutier, who is uh, French, oh. but he's, uh, he's playing Long Paul, who is very tall, and you cannot see him. He is so long. Wow. wow. You on, only see his torso. And you especially uh, you, can't see him because it's a audio uh, podcast. But you yeah, paint a picture, I'm assuming. You're painting I'm a picture you like paint I'm the, the tallest man in the world, like Robert yes. Wadlow? Oh, yes, Robert 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 believe Robert it or not, times yeah. 100. Yes. Yeah, yeah. And almost, yeah, that's correct. Robert Earl Hughes, also almost a Yao Ming. It is, a, you know, a picture is worth a thousand words and the audio is worth... I don't know. Like, not, half no, no, no. Probably no, a lot. lot. A, a, a lot. A yes, lot, a lot, at least a lot. We'll no. go with a lot. That we'll works. We'll go with I a think. lot. It's because okay. it's everyone's saying when the, when Boss Ron said you fuckers yeah. are doing a podcast. I was yeah. like, well, you know, everybody's talking about it. Did yeah. you make eighty million dollars doing this podcast like those smart list guys? I did not, but I did really oh. much enjoy visiting um, Jacques Mark Emporium and also swinging by uh. Val Verde's Candle Factory while picking up some sunflowers from Bert's Funeral Flowers. Oh, got to play. Flula, Flula knows Bert's how to make that eighty million. Flowers. He's there you go. Yeah, you just you yeah. just made at least twenty dollars. It's like I Thank saw you. one of those like uh, when you're trying to raise money and the thermometer just went up and it's full of jugs, bread, oh. jugs, mugs. Uh, officers are standing up. You know, everyone. Uh, That's oh what they say. God. Val Verde. Uh, officers are standing just, up. That's Val Verde yeah. police. That's what that they're We're like, we're not yeah. sitting down. No. We are standing to serve up. and stand standing up. up. To yes, serve and correct. Stand up. And yeah. it comes out on September 19th, wherever yes. you get podcasts. And, you know. Stitcher. Right away. Go to Stitcher. Oh, don't go to Stitcher. Oh. You can't oh, go, go, to go to Stitcher, Stitcher. anymore. They, they, no turned Stitcher. It, okay. they turned it into a marmalade factory. It's a marmalade oh, factory. Well, it's well, a marmalade. Yes, it's yeah, jam-packed. Jam exactly. <laughs> oh, 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 there you go. Know. Yes. Scotty, book him again, you motherfucker. <laughs> you better oh. book him again. Um, God, I can't wait to hear this. I cannot wait to hear can't this, wait. Flula. Okay.
nine episodes. Right. Now, does the Christmas episode yes. come out at Christmas? Do we it, have to uh, wait? This is a wonderful question, Wisp. I'm so glad that you asked about the timing of the release of the surprise Christmas episode, which yes, is not part know. of the original eight. It is a surprise episode. Surprise! Yes. Got you. Uh, Santa's here out. and he's got Santa. a gun. Ho, he's got, ho, ho. Santa's got a gun. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> boom. <laughs> and he's in My the, he's in the elevator song. with yes. the yes. Janey. Santa yes. in an elevator. Santa, yeah, yeah, Santa yeah. doll, uh, living in uh, this movie. Yes, sweet cookies, you know. Ah, that's what he does. I love the Aerosmith oh. Christmas record. Oh, yeah. It's Aerosmith just a wonderful Christmas record. record. I could sing that all goddamn day long. Oh, yeah. Talking about mistletoe, nobody cares. No. Boop, 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 and, boop, boop. I, and I yeah. got out my big 10-inch Santa. Oh, oh, that's it's a, a Santa. Now that's, that's a surprise good. right there. Yeah. Uh, We're living I'm, in the North Pole. Oh, do, 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 do. Yeah. You can't tell you're at the North Pole. Yes. Oh, my God. I'm we just keep doing this all man. morning long. I'm back in the North Pole again. Well, like, hey, I tell you, yeah. Bing Crosby and David oh. Bowie's ghosts better watch oh. their backs because they have Christmas albums coming for them. Eat out your heart, Bing Crosby. <laughs> somebody did when he died oh, that somebody happens. did eat the heart wow oh so oh was it the evil man from indian jones and the temple of doom it was it was he did the oh, hand thing he did the hand thing he did the oh, hand thing and he's, like, oh, he's like no no i'm just i'm just checking to make sure he's still alive and then he oh, just ate the heart yum 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 yum, 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 yum. oh my god it so, comes out this episode oh sorry wisp a wonderful question apologies you. to you about this tangent now we no, return no, to no. your question i, I love about a tangent i love a tangent Miss Well, I love all forms of Euclidean geometry. To answer your question, it is coming out some days before Christmas so that other people okay. can enjoy it in the lead up to Christmas. I love it. And also play it during Christmas and after, also afterward. I love it. I, I love, love it. it. I love it already. I need some more of it. It's okay. Flula Makes Five. You can get yes. it on September 19th. Uh, yeah. If you're hearing this after September 19th, you can already go get it. Go get it you now. Can. Get the goddamn Just episode. get the goddamn thing now. Yeah, go get, get it, it now. now. It's every flu day, which is a Tuesday. It is coming oh, a new episode. I love that. I love that. Yeah. I Watch love your back, it. Taco Tuesdays, because flu oh. days is coming oh. for you. <laughs> we're Taco flu day. Oh, 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 like yeah. oh, we're back on the tangent. Oh, no. Oh, oh, we're yeah. back oh, on oh, the oh, tangent. Oh, 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 Flula, thank you so much for being here with us. Uh, we got to have you back here on uh, 108.9 The Hawk on the Wiz Turlington Show. Scotty just nodded at me from the back. Bathroom. He's gonna make it happen. But right oh. now, I gotta tell you, nine o'clock hour. Woo wee! Matthew McConaughey is gonna be on, and he's just gonna do that sound. He's just gonna go woo wee a bunch of times. <laughs> and Skeet Ulrich is coming in to show some magic tricks. That's what's coming oh. on in the nine o'clock hour. Oh. Gonna be great here in the rock and roll RV. And you wouldn't have a rock and roll RV if you didn't have rock. So we have that for you on the Valley's Choice for Rock 108.9, The Hog. Yes, yeah, I got it. Bada boop. 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 Bada I would like of this. I, uh, I we, would purchase. We will, we, we will no, we will, we will get you a hawk yep. shirt. We'll get yes. you a hawk shirt for coming on. Okay. Thank we you. It's extra, extra, extra large. Extra, 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 extra large. large. Perfect. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> write that down. Scotty, yeah. write that down. Extra, <laughs> extra <Scotty>. large. <laughs> Thank and you. And so this is a podcast that uh, comes out on the 19th. And yeah. uh, dude, it's, it's, I, the trailer is so funny. Oh, it's fun. Did it's you so shoot dumb. the whole thing? You we shot the whole really? thing. You shot yeah, the whole yeah. thing, and yeah, then we, well, in, you know, in the age of everyone has to say yeah for you to make a thing filming, and so right. I say to all of those people, suck your own, suck, suck, choose an <laughs> item and suck it, right, and right, make. make your own things. So yes. uh, my friends, Andy Wamwell and Alex Hinton and me, we, we all got and hired a sit. We went to a sitcom studio area and we filmed all eight episodes plus a surprise episode. Wow. Plus a surprise. So when the yeah. podcast is out, they can listen to it. But are you also going to release the 
the video of it too for people to see or is it just we the podcast I, I mean sorry to horse a deadbeat but we did not uh so so heinz did really fuck you we don't have yeah the only ah. thing we have filmed is the t the trailer wow. we have we have the opening trailer to the show <laughs> so well, I, that's, that, I love fine. it heinz really fucked you there of Lula. Yeah. I, hate, I hate to say it. You've been yeah. on so yeah. many amazing things. You did Pitch Perfect 2. You can hear my dog losing his shit in the background. <laughs> I love Suicide it. Suicide Squad was yes. was excellent. Well, how was doing Suicide Squad? How a dream was that? Drew- Oh, it was very. Is a dream. Is a very great. Everyone is very friendly, and I was yeah. not fired from the from the film. <laughs> that's always, always a good a sign. Good thing. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. always a good thing. <laughs> one thing we always ask our guests who come on one hundred eight point nine The Hawk because we are a classic rock related podcast. What is your relation to classic rock? Did you grow up listening to it uh, as a kid, or I love very much. Susie Q by Creedence Clearwater Revival is one of my most favorite songs. Inside Looking song. Out by Grand Funk Railroad is perhaps a top 10 of all the times. That uh, is a good song, song, too. Oh, it's very good. I do very much love the double Z tops. I think uh, <laughs> La- Lagrange is the dopest beat. Um, yes. A Cheap Sunglasses is maybe the best song that rappers need to sample immediately. Hard yeah. to yeah, that's it. that's also missing big oh, time. Really yeah, I love very much all of uh, the classic rock. Is a very dope time. Funk forty nine. I it's very fun. Oh God, yes. Oh one God, yes. Did you yeah. grow up listening to it in Germany? Like, was there a station that played a lot of the classic rock? Or yes, yes. My uh, my father was always listening to these, and so I listened to those things, and also to mm-hmm. uh, James Taylor, Jim Croce, and Cat Stevens, which I know is not yeah. rock and roll. It's more but just like fantastic. Yeah. yeah. Do you my, guys listen to rock and rolls? We do, yes. we do. We listen to a lot of, uh, Jeff's wearing a Genesis shirt, so you can yes, tell we listen to I a mean, lot I'll of Genesis. I mean, I'll say too, like German rock is some of my favorite bands. Like, I mean, oh. I listen to, I mean, every day probably listen to the Scorpions yeah. and every mm-hmm. single German progressive rock band because there was such a huge and the cosmic, like Tangerine oh, yeah. Dream related oh, world. Yeah. That's yeah, where like yeah. my heart lies is like when I was on tour in Germany, I remember being like, this is amazing. It's like buying Boston LPs here. I could find <laughs> yeah. like early craft work in La Dusseldorf records and they were cheap and like can and able to like yes. pull everything I needed. Like, oh, the Ashra Temple records. And it was my dream come true. Cause you got I, Jeff going. You really yes. got Jeff and going here. He's in, just... in hardcore and punk. I truly, one of my bands was based off of part of it, off of German hardcore that was relocated oh. in Bremen. Yeah, uh, Bremen. There was a, yeah. yeah, there's a, there's a specific scene of Bremen core of like a certain amount of bands that only like what? had a specific sound called Ashra. Acme, Sistral, Mercer, Carol, and these bands were like an influence on me in like beginning of college, etc. I must look these up. I don't know That's these bands. Awesome. That's awesome. You were we'll very smart, but it truly was. It's like a group of like 10 to 15 guys, but they put out these amazing records that changed my life. And then when we went to Germany, we played Bremen and it was a Sunday and it was closed and everything was oh. tired, but the show was fun. Oh. Oh, okay, <laughs> yes. good. Yes. Jeff will send you a list. Jeff will yeah, send you a I list will. of his list. favorite uh, I will. German I will. bands. Please. Um, Flula, thank you so much for being on here. Just to let everyone know, Flula Makes 5 out on September 19th, wherever you can get your podcasts. Definitely subscribe to it. Give it a review. Tell your friends. I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be funny as hell. I'm very and excited. That's going to be great. So Thank you very uh, much. Uh, just one Jugs Mug Emporium mug would be, in addition to the double extra large uh, <laughs> we'll get you. shirt. We'll, we'll get you a, a, a mug from Jugs. We'll get the grandma one for you. <laughs> oh, I would love this. <laughs> yes. so, perfect. 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 Thank you so much, Flula. And I just want to say real quick, if you want to support 108.9 The Hawk, you can go to our Patreon. It's patreon.com, 108.9 The Hawk. Find out all that you need to find out at 1089thehawk.com. Com. And yes. uh, wow. listen, subscribe, tell your friends. That's all we ask. And uh, thank you so much for listening to 108.9 The Hawk. Bye-bye. Bye. 108.9 The Hawk was created, written, and performed by Jason Gore and Jeff Garlock. For all episodes of 108.9 The Hawk, please search for 108.9 The Hawk on any podcast provider or visit 1089thehawk.com. To support the show, please visit our Patreon at patreon.com slash 1089thehawk. The world's greatest comedy podcast about classic rock radio. 108.9 The Hawk.